We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Marriage for life. <laughs> Being a super pair in Hollywood is no easy feat. In Hollywood, having two powerful people usually attracts two times as much attention. Since getting married in 1997, Will Smith and his vocal partner Jada Pinkett Smith have become accustomed to it. But that doesn't mean they always know how to handle the pressure of the spotlight. It's arguable that their stock has fallen greatly in Hollywood due to a slew of public scandals and a period of professional deterioration. They seem to have lost the support of the entertainment industry, of which they were formerly an important part. Will and Jada are no longer tolerated in Hollywood for this reason. Let's take a look at some of the most well-known statements by people who dislike Jada Pinkett Smith. Number 1. 50 Cent wishes Will and Jada would quit discussing <laughs> During the time when she and Will Smith were divorced, Jada Pinkett Smith had an entanglement with actor August Alsina, as she acknowledged on Red Table Talk. Jada answered Alcina's assertions that Will had approved the relationship four and a half years earlier, and Jada made clear that the only person that can give permission in that particular circumstance is myself. The gossip blogs in the summer of 2020 were dominated by a tangled he said, she said exchange. Rapper 50 Cent was one of the people who was captivated by the story on social media. According to 50 Cent's Instagram account, Will cursed at him when he DM'd him about the circumstance. 50 Cent questioned why Jada told him that on a show for everybody to see, adding, then she said only she can give permission for someone to blow her back out with a shrug emoji. Will replied by using more foul language in one tweet than he had in his whole rap career, writing, you 50. In October 2021, 50 Cent made the decision to address the Smiths union once more. Jada concurred with Gwyneth Paltrow on Red Table Talk that expecting one spouse to be a mind reader is a pitfall of marriage, especially when it comes to As reported by Complex, 50 Cent discusses in a post to his Instagram story with the comment, why she keep doing sh It makes the relationship appear weak. First entanglement, now this. Come on, WTF. The Smiths decided not to answer this time. Number two, the couple came across as hypocritical to Alexis Arquette. It turned out to be one of their most contentious statements when Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith said in 2016 that they would not attend the Oscars because there were not enough black candidates in the acting categories. I think that diversity is the American superpower. That's why we're great. So many different people from so many different places adding their ideas, their inspiration, and their influences to this beautiful American gumbo. Will told Robin Roberts for Good Morning America at the time. And for me, at its best, Hollywood represents and then creates the imagery for that beauty. But for my part, I think that I have to protect and fight for the ideals that make our country and make our Hollywood community great. While some praised the boycott, star Alexis Arquette made a contentious remark of her own on Facebook. Will and Jada were both accused by her of being homosexual, and she predicted that when they came out, then I will listen to them, via Laney Gossip. You are either with us or against us, Arquette continued. You decide today. The Smiths appear to have chosen to ignore Arquette, who later deleted the post. Number 3. Leah Ramini and Jada Pickens Smith fought over Scientology, but they appear to be getting along today. A vocal opponent of Scientology, Leah Ramini is more than just an actor and performer. Ramini talked about these rumors in her book, Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology. Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith were allegedly Scientologists for years. In 2017, when she spoke with Daily Beast again, she brought it up again. I know Jada's in, she said. I know Jada's in. She's been in Scientology a long time. I never saw Will there, but I saw Jada at the Celebrity Center in Hollywood. They opened up a Scientology school and have since closed it. But Jada, I had seen her at the Scientology Celebrity Center all the time. Jada responded on Twitter, listing all of the places of worship she had visited without being a part of any particular organized religion. She said in conclusion, I have studied Dianetics and appreciate the merits of study tech, but I am not a Scientologist. However, according to People, Ramini contacted Jada a year later to set the record straight. Jada then asked Ramini to join the Red Table Talk so they could talk through the issue. Jader later clarified how their chat session helped them develop a connection. 
What was really emotional about it was realizing that there was two broken little girls in us that were abandoned by their fathers and turned into fighters who clashed, Jada told people. Number four, Jada Pinkett Smith and Gabriel Union battled covertly for years. Jada Pinkett Smith and Gabriel Union both pursued acting and they frequently crossed paths at public gatherings. Smith, though, always felt something was off. She and I did not talk for 17 years and we could not remember why, Smith told Essence. There was just tension between us every time we would see each other. There was some moment that we had that just left a bad taste in both of our mouths. To set the record straight, Smith called Union, but as Essence pointed out, when we got on the phone to try to figure out what it was, we could not figure it out. She concluded, it was just us being young divas. Union was asked to discuss the situation on Red Table Talk by Smith. I had to just apologize and just thinking to myself, damn Jada, that was some petty ass Smith told Union on the show. But at the same time going, well, that's where you were then. Thank God you're someplace else now. Later, Union spoke on Today and said, even though we're both very outspoken women, we're both activists, our husbands, our friends, we both felt we had too much pride and too much insecurities to just say, hey, did that ever actually happen? Or was that a creation of someone else who did not want to see two women rise together? These days, the two women are close. Number five, Tupac was offended when Jada asked him to stop attacking Will Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith allegedly insulted the late rapper Tupac Shakur by requesting that he refrain from attacking Will Smith after they started dating. When she and Shakur attended Maryland's Baltimore School of the Arts in the 1980s, Pinkett Smith spoke numerous times about their strong friendship. Shakur was shot and died in 1996 when he was 25 years old. Even though Shakur and Pinkett Smith were simply friends when Pinkett started dating Smith in 1995, she apparently worried that the relationship would enrage Shakur. Muda Napoleon Wasson Shabazz Beale, a former member of the Outlaws, claimed that Tupac Shakur was hurt by the rumored idea that he might use violence in a 2021 appearance on YouTube's The Art of Dialogue. He went to LA. He was very upset, Beale recalled. Pac came in the room. He was like, Jada, she gonna contact me and tell me don't do nothing to Will Smith. So Pac was upset. He was like, I don't know why she thinks I would have tried to make some problems with Will Smith. I guess it kind of hurt him. He had a lot of love for Jada Pinkett and a lot of respect for her. Bill replied to the query of whether Shakur was cool with Pinkett Smith dating Smith. He had no other choice, I think. I think Pac respected Jada Pinkett so much where that was her choice. He was the type of person that he was going to support her. Like I said, he was offended when she asked him not to do anything to Will Smith from a standpoint not to be violent towards him, and I think that just probably hurt him more than anything, because he was like, what do you think this is? I'm not just walking around being this impulsive, violent individual, so I think that probably kind of hurt his feelings at that particular time. For now, the relationship scandal between the Smiths has covered the internet. In an under-discussed digital smear campaign, akin to that experienced by actress Brie Larson, Pinkett Smith has amassed an alarmingly negative online presence as a target of criticism from primarily male YouTube commentators and the subject of sensational video edits of the infamous sit-down by trolls. Without a doubt, Pinkett Smith's reputation is not fully recovered from the revelation from a year ago, despite her best efforts. For this reason, some journalists and the internet were quick to accuse the actress of publicly humiliating her husband without taking the brief time necessary to read her actual statement. Unsurprisingly, the internet was relatively silent when Will Smith admitted in a GQ story a month earlier that Jada wasn't the only one engaging in other sexual relationships throughout their marriage. Pinkett Smith explained her comments on Twitter after they went viral on Wednesday, saying that she and Will never had an issue in the bedroom. Whatever the case, the public's misunderstandings and projections have already shaped the narrative. As the face of toxic femininity on social media, it will be intriguing to observe how the talk show presenter manages her open, honest persona. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from us.